Are you the parent of a child with autism or another neurodevelopmental challenge? If so, then you know this journey is filled with questions, uncertainty, and a deep desire to help your child truly thrive. I'm Dr. Kurt Gare, and since 2004, I've worked with families just like yours. But more importantly, I was one of those kids. Growing up in the 1970s, I clearly had ADHD. But back then, I was just labeled as fidgety, distracted, not living up to my full potential. And then after a strep infection, things worsened. I developed tics, and I dealt with a sensory processing disorder. Tags had to be trimmed off of my clothes. Everything had to be cotton or non-synthetic materials. My socks couldn't have seams along the toe. In class, bright lights and random noises and a slow classroom uh, were all a daily torture for me. Now, worse yet, my older siblings thought it was funny to touch me on just one side because they knew it would set me off and I needed the other side to be touched evenly. And I couldn't stand it. So when I say I understand what your child is going through, I mean it. It's not just as a doctor, but as someone who's lived through it and who's come out on the other side. So maybe you've already tried multiple things like therapies, supplements, diets, devices, and all with some results, but nothing that really clicked. Or maybe you even tried red light therapy or other lasers and didn't get great results. The truth is that most of those laser devices aren't even true lasers. They're often non-collimated, low energy, or simply not the right wavelength. And if you want to tell the difference between a quality laser and a device masquerading as a laser, here's one easy trick. Take a look at these lasers on me. You can see how these laser beams are crisp and well-defined lines, even from a distance. No matter how far away, it's going to look crisp. That's what a collimated laser looks like. If it looks blurry or out of focus, like you see in some pictures and videos online, that is not a collimated laser and that dramatically reduces the effectiveness of the laser. That's why in my clinic, I only use the most research lasers with 22 unique FDA clearances and level one clinical trials, including trials on autism, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. So before you choose any provider, you gotta ask a few questions. Number one, is it a true collimated laser or just a red light device? Ask if it's FDA cleared for use on the head. And then ask if there are peer-reviewed studies on that exact laser and those exact wavelengths or parameters because there's a big difference in wavelengths and parameters, collimation or non-collimation. Quality really matters. When we get back to the common struggles I see in neurodivergent kids, this includes things like focus and sensory overload, which I went through that, emotional dysregulation, or speech delays or processing issues, trouble sleeping and staying calm. I know as an insomniac for a lot of my life. And the hardest part for parents out there is the constantly wondering, am I missing something that could help? So. That's where high energy non-thermal laser therapy like I've got on me here is showing some exciting promise. Most people only hear about or know about red and infrared and even just red light therapy. But what's often overlooked is how much more energetic these visible wavelengths here of green and violet are. Many people don't understand how important they are for proper mitochondrial function. These have more photon energy and create a bigger impact at the cellular level on the mitochondria in all four steps to making ATP or energy. Many children with autism have problems in steps one through three and red and infrared, as good as they are, they just have minimal impact there. Violet and green are needed to support those first three steps completely. This is why I use all three wavelengths. And even many neuropractitioners are still completely unaware of the latest research on non-thermal high energy lasers and the wavelength specific effects on the mitochondria and other structures and reactions. Mm -hmm. 
One particular study that really stands out that you should know was published in 2018 in the journal Frontiers in Neuroscience by Dr. Calixto Machado. This was a quadruple blind, randomized, placebo controlled study on kids with autism using this Erconia FX laser. It's a scanning laser, the same one I use here, and it rotates and gets a full coverage on the brain and on the body. And the significant improvements that were seen were improvements in behavior, focus, and sociability. You could also see measurable changes on functional MRI scans that were not seen in the placebo group, which was a fully active red light. And you can see these devices will rotate and cover an area. And there's no side effects, and there's no medications that are used. And we can cover this whole area in the head with precise wavelengths delivered safely and evenly using this scanning rotation that is completely non-thermal. Now, when we looked at the light group, the patients who used the red light group were given the therapy and they were followed and we didn't see any real big changes. So six months later, they were put into the laser group where they got the scanning laser and they showed the same improvements that the original kids in the laser group got. So this is a very safe device, the one that I use. It's no heat, there's no pain, there are no side effects. Most kids actually enjoy the sessions and some even nap through them. You can see them calm down as they're under the laser. And since these lasers are FDA cleared from head to toe for decreasing pain and inflammation, and they're backed by high level quality research that's placebo controlled, on this exact laser, you get peace of mind that you're not doing something that is harming your kid. And as someone who's been through this myself, and I use the lasers on me to be able to travel the world and lecture to other doctors, I know what it's like to struggle. That experience led me to do a deep dive into advanced therapies and eventually to become one of the lead researchers on the first FDA cleared violet and green laser, this one that you see right here that I had on my head. These wavelengths have the highest photon energy and the strongest cellular impact. In that study, we also compared red light devices to green and violet, and the green and violet was shown to be superior. And I've lectured internationally, shared this research at functional neurology and laser conferences, such as the International Association for Functional Neurology and Rehabilitation in, Long, in Las Vegas. This is where I introduced the concept of lasers for kids with autism to Dr. Robert Melillo, uh, who's got the famous book, Disconnected Kids, and has the brain balance centers. Prior to my lecture, I talked to him afterwards, he was unaware of the research that was out there for lasers for kids with autism. So this is a game changer for kids with autism, for kids with ADHD, sensory processing disorders, all the things I had. I was there to lecture for lasers for brain support and many great doctors came out of that utilizing lasers now for kids. And I now bring this cutting edge science to families just like yours. So if you're curious to learn more or want to see if your child might be a candidate, we offer consultations right here at Laser Chiropractic in West Covina. And I don't charge an astronomical price. There are a lot of people out there that are making it very hard for families to be able to afford this type of a treatment. I like to bring it to the masses because again, I know what it's like. I suffered with this condition for a long time uh, throughout my life and the lasers have made a big difference for me and I continue to use them. So I want to make sure I can bring this to more people to help more kids so they can experience a change in life like I have. So if you're interested, call us at 626-338-3600 visit laserchiropractic.net to schedule or to learn more. You can also, if you Google me on uh, the internet, you will see tons of videos I've been explaining more about this. So you can explore the video library, see the other information I've shared on there. Your child's brain is capable of incredible things, but sometimes it just needs the right input to unlock that potential. And sometimes that input is light, coherent, collimated, high energy, non-thermal laser light. So let's explore what's possible together. We'll see you soon.